Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator. Today, we are going to be testing out the new range T of Euro Truck Simulator. I'm in my cheat profile. I don't know why they call it cheat profile, because I don't know how you can cheat in a single player game, but okay. Um, so, we are going to go to truck dealers, and we are going to go to Renault trucks, and we're going to go here to D Dusseldorf. And we're going to visit selected dealer. Yes, I want to travel to the Renault dealer. So, we have to pick the range T today, and we're going to go for the range T sleeper, because we got millions of money, yay! Um, or should we go for one of the other T's, or have we only got one choice? Let's go with the high sleeper, that looks really, really nice, I'm going to go with this, it looks really cool. So, we will customise configuration, uh, we'll go to here, and we can pick between, well, it really doesn't matter if we pick the low sleeper or not. We'll go high sleeper, that looks pretty cool. Um, the chassis. Um, I don't know, what looks good? Ooh, that could look good. The thing is, Renaults don't look good at all. Like, I really don't like Renaults at all, I don't know why. It's just my personal preference. Like, they're really boxy in my opinion, like, they're just really plasticky. I just don't like them. We can go 6x2 slash 4. 6x2 tag lift, ooh, that looks cool. 6x2 slash 4 mid lift. 6x4. Mm, let's go with the 6x2 slash 4 mid lift. I think, no. That could look pretty cool. Or it's between they two. Like, they look so different. But what would look nicer? I think that one would look better. No. That one would look better. I can't make my mind up. <laughs> that one would look definitely better. Uh, let's go with, hmm, heavy car goes pretty low on that. Let's go with 480, I think. Uh, transmission, 12 speed seems good. Um, I don't think we need a differential at all. Um, that's fine. The interior, now this is the most crap part in my opinion. Uh, this is the part that I do not like at all um, about the Renault. Oh my god. Um, it's just like literally the most rubbish looking thing on the planet. Like, look at it. It's just so bad. Diamond logo. Like, what company wants diamond as their logo apart from Rihanna? Um, but, you know, where is. Like, what is this? I do not like this at all. It's just not my sort of style. The interior is okay, but it's like meh. I mean, the seats are probably the best thing in here, if I'm being completely honest. Um, the wheel is terrible, it looks really plasticky, it reminds me of, it, rem oh, it reminds me of Thrustmaster, like, cheap wheels as well, um, and then the radio, it just looks so rubbish, and wait till you see the dash, it looks really bad. Um, so, we can choose between different ones, so we can go UK, but no, because 90% of this game is outside of the UK, or 95% of this game is outside the UK, so there's no point going for a UK interior. Standard, it really doesn't change anything. What is the difference? Oh, I see. We get a different GPS for like 600 more. <laughs> Standard UK exclusive. Oh, we get a little bit of chocolatey brown in our truck. So that and that. I really don't like that at all. It just looks so bad. Nothing else changes apart from... Oh, I see. The radio changes. Exclusive 2013. I thought this was a range T made in 2018, not 2013. Exclusive. We can go, we get a new sat nav and probably other things as well. Exclusive black. Wow. Jeez. Um, that actually looks quite nice. I like that one, but also like, I don't like any of them to be honest, but I like that one and I like the exclusive black. But then the exclusive brings out the colour into it. Not that one. The standard or the standard 2013. I'm going to go standard because I want to sort of be a modern area. Um, the paint job. Oh, wow. Um, I really like this one. <clears throat> like, I, 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 my eye caught this, like, very, very fast. Like, this one is really nice. Like, I really like the design of this. But there's also other ones too. But I don't think a solid colour looks that great on it. Um, that looks okay. That looks quite good. Um, I think that's the one I'm going to go for, to be honest. Bronze Autumn. What? 
Grand Sontrine Metallic. We can have our own custom metallic colour as well. Uh, heavy Duty Flow. Hmm. It looks not bad, but it doesn't look great, does it? Heavy Duty. <coughs> that looks not too bad either. Always Forwards. That doesn't work. Gearing up. Opportunities all. No, no, no. Bubbles? Nah. The Grand Tour? No. Amor, what the heck is that? Yeah, let's put Clockwork Reindeer on a Reno. <laughs> I'm tempted to do it, I don't know why. I'm tempted to put a Reindeer on a Reno, considering we're only like 84 days to Christmas. Dancing in Paris. Dove of Love, the heck. Full Steam Santa. Girl Power. Heart Unlock. <laughs> And then you got the Valentine's Day stuff, which is not even anywhere near this time of year. Sunrise, gift time. What? <laughs> Should we just drive that for, like, no reason whatsoever? <laughs> Magic ribbons. Night of Wonders. <laughs> just make this look so bizarre. Santa trucker. Santa's bag. Christmas spirit. <laughs> is anybody in the Christmas spirit? Oh, I'm tempted. I'm so tempted. But no, I think we're going to keep it a bit, um, unfortunately, I'm sorry to burst everybody's bubble, but we'll leave that until at least next month. <laughs> we're going to go with, um, I'm tempted though, I don't know why I'm tempted. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll do it. Why not? What is with the lag in here? This, this job centre is really badly lagged. Uh, paint. What the bloody hell is that? That looks so awful. Um, bonfire? Oh, we can have bonfire night, we can have Christmas, and we can have Valentine's Day in one. The space. Star. Okay, I'm gonna go with bonfire. I actually don't like any of these, if I'm being completely honest. I don't know why. Like, some of these job accessories are really, really odd. Um, that, yeah, it removes it. Oh, God mean that. No, we'll do the interior in a sec. No, we'll do the interior in a sec. Right, there. Bonfire, thank you. Ugh. Add my light bar, okay. So we'll go with some, actually. Yeah, we'll keep that on. We'll go with, no, that was really odd, just sticking out. Is there a bull bar that we can just put, like, with... No, we can't. I wanted it, like, behind the other side of the bar, but I can't have it. Because the game won't let me. I'm sure if I went into a real construction site... A real... A real construction site. I'm sure if I went into a real paint job area, or a, pay, a car mechanic place, truck dealer, I'm sure I'd be able to do that. Mm, I actually feel like the Lumen Marks would be better. Or the Lumen Mark them. They would feel much better to me. What does that look like? That looks really bizarre. I don't know why. It just looks extremely bizarre. Oh yeah, we won't be doing much driving today, unfortunately. We'll do a bit of driving just to test it out, but I've really not got time to drive today, so it'll be about a 30-minute video-ish. Um, I would drive, but... <laughs> It's all about the configurating and getting it done and just showing you what it's like. But there's a lot of configuring in this. Um, yeah, that looks really bizarre. I don't like that at all. Hmm. Does that look okay? Does anybody think that just looks really odd? Actually, it doesn't look too bad like that. I just think that looks really bizarre, but just I'm just really, 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 like... I don't know why, I'm just really paranoid about everything. Okay. I don't know about that. What about if we put two in the middle like that? Nah, that doesn't work. Nobody's gonna like that. What about if we put two right in the middle, rather than... Well, what about if we put, like, one there? And one there? Would that work? No, it covers the light bar. Okay, we'll just put two on the edge. 
Jeez. Um, the paint. Um, do you want that painted or do you want that black? Yeah, painted all the way. I do not like. What does it look like without it? Oh god, that looks terrible. Uh, we can have custom flag. Uh, Cecil's Mega Pack. Oh yeah, that's the one that brings all the interior accessories. Um, we can have a Brexit flag, or we can have GTM flag. <laughs> Let's not have a flag, because it'll cause arguments. Um, stock, yep, that's fine. Um, and more flags, custom flag. Yay. What the heck? What buttons have I not pressed? That's inside. Uh, we'll get onto that in a sec. They've actually added more in the interior accessory pack. Oh my god, I'm looking forward to that. Let's put telepass devices on this side. Um, plastic. Okay, great. An orange reflector. Oh, or a white reflector. I think I'm going to go for an orange reflector. I think orange works better. Um, plastic grey, plastic, or paint. I really like that. That makes the truck stand out. It gives it a little bit of an outline. Um, that's orange reflector. Oh, now we're talking. Yeah, I definitely like, I definitely like the plastic grey on that. Because it brings out, it just adds an outline to the, the, the growl. And that's what I like. Uh, we can have like a samurai, that looks absolutely rubbish. That looks rubbish. That looks really bizarre. That looks really bizarre. That looks like a moustache. What can you actually put on these things? Oh, just lumen marks. Hmm. I don't think I'm bothered too much about that. That just looks. That looks quite nice. That was really nice, actually. Um, do we want halogen lamps or do we want xenon lamps? <laughs> Nobody knows what we want. Okay, we'll go with that. I like I like that bill bar around the side, but obviously we need to check other ones. Uh, no. Was that? Uh, no other choice. What's the point in giving me a choice? There's no choice to cross it off. Now I've actually got. I've actually. I actually um, know about this, but I think they're doing these sort of things where they have like empty dots or just one option dots because later on there will be a Renault accessory DLC for you to to actually add. So you'll be able to buy it for like three pound or something. Like what they did last week with the Mercedes um, Actros um, accessory thing. I was going to do that. I was going to have a look at the accessories for the Mercedes, but um, this came out and I decided to give this a go instead. This bit looks really dull. Like this front bit here. It looks really extremely dull. I don't know why it does. Well, it does because it's just red. Um, no. Mirage. Ooh. Sting. And, no. So let's go with chromes. Let's go with a couple of chrome lights. Uh, should we just add them all the way down the side? Uh, down the bottom? I think we should. That looks really nice. I like that, actually. Would whites look better? Yeah. I don't know, actually, because orange brings that out. And I think the side marker might be good there. Yeah, look at that. That was really nice. Or we can have... Oh, okay. So, left. There. Right there. LED strobe. That, that might look quite nice down the bottom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're having that. Yep, we're having that. For as much as I can figure trucks anyway, um, this is actually, like, it's such a good part of Euro Truck. It's such a, it, it lets you bring out your imaginative side, if you like, like, Christmas logo, Christmas stuff. I wonder what it would actually look like now with the, the other, um, this one. Oh, wow, that looks really ugly. That actually looks really ugly. If we're doing that with the... Uh, yeah. Let's go with Christmas spirit. It looks so much better. I 
And I know a lot of people are going to be annoyed at me for um, putting Christmas paint job on a, a, a truck like 80 days before Christmas. Chrome, paint or plastic? I like chrome. Actually, no, let's go paint because we want everybody to, when they're opening the door, they're like, oh, I'm holding Christmas or something. Uh, badge 480. What the heck is that? Can I see it? Or badge 480, what? Nope, 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 not camera reset. Okay, why not? Uh, that's inside. Uh, paint and plastic or... Oh yeah, definitely that. Uh, we have three choices here. We have Trailmaster. I've not got the mod for the tire mod. I really should. Elementals. Oh, we can add some of these. But I really like the Trailmasters on this. Um, the wheels look pretty nice, actually. Uh, we can add a bit of colour to it if we want. We can add... A bit of red, just to match the truck. Actually, I think dark red might look a bit better, like that. With white, actually, yeah, white. I think white stands out more. Um, so what were those? Those were standard paint. Okay. Uh, let's go with. This is really detailed. Let's put that red, like dark redish, like there. Keep its preset. Um, that's the inside. Oh, we can actually go a bit more. Ooh, we can put that white, or should we? Let's go with Elite Rider. And these. Oh, wow, that looks really nice. Um, let's go with that. Uh, not that. That. Yeah, that looks really cool. That brings out my. No, I don't like that. No, I really don't like that. Hmm, okay. So, what do we have here? We had paint. We had. Um, oh no, I can't remember what we had here. What did we have? We had Elite Rider. Does that, does that have Elite Rider? It doesn't, does it? Okay, let's go standard then. <laughs> uh, paint and standard. Uh, plastic. Yeah, why not? This truck's costing 243,000 euros so far. Wow. Um, stock, that's fine. Um, plastic LED. Or... Okay, yeah, that will do. That's the wheels, or the tires. Um, not too bothered about this. I guess we can have. Um, yeah, that um, should the, would the would that work better? Yeah, that would definitely work better. Why is it only on one side though? Why can't it be on the other? See, this again is like the paint job. This is coming soon, I think. Uh, nah. Um, I don't know. I'm in two minds about that. I'm on the fence. No, let's not have it. See, this thing here, it really, if that wasn't there, I would definitely not have it. I'm on the fence more. If it was on the other side, I'd definitely have it. But it's not, so. Okay, I think we're pretty much done for the exterior. Um, I'm not quite sure if there's anything else that we need to put on. Yeah, we've done that. I think that's pretty much everything, isn't it? Don't want a flag. Oh yeah, the mirrors. Oh, that looks really nice. Yeah, that all the way. Yep. Okay, interior time. Um, we want a sat nav, obviously. So we will put a Tom Tong Trucker Pro there. Um, I passed the vice. We don't need. Actually, is this a sat nav? Because I'll just keep it. I don't want two sat navs. Wheel exclusive bl brown. Oh god, exclusive black. That looks really bad. 
Or we can just go like four spoke wheels, you know, Kenworth, MEN, Mercedes Benz, Peter B it just looks really bizarre if we put that in here. What the heck? Okay, I like standard. <laughs> it's like the most best one we can get. Don't think there's any accessories apart from maybe we can have a compass if we wanted to. Dash. Uh, we can have a Mentos. Polo Mint. Vi Vivident. Vivident Zillette Box. Bounty. Oh, you know what? Bounties are like the best because when you have celebrations boxes at Christmas, I love bounties. And it's always great when to see when that that's left. Meek Mulka Waivers. Uh, custom Can. It's Red Bull. Can 330ml Custom. What does Custom mean? You mean you can take it into Photoshop or something and change it? Fanta. Iron Brew. Mars Bar. Pepsi. Petite Burr Biscuits. A book. Cigarettes. Nutella. Wow. <laughs> Nutella. We can just have a jar of Nutella. Just put our finger in and lick it all the time. A pen holder. Oh, how boring. A tissue box. A toddler on. Oh my god. An Android toy. What is that? <laughs> Poppy Lavender. Lavender. A coffee cup black. In different cups, flags, turkey, um, Nescafe. <laughs> I have my Nescafe cup. Keep calm and truck on. I love tea. ATS woman, ATS man, mother trucker, radio trucker, football, ashtray for anybody that smokes, deodorant, <laughs> lol, um, Yoda tabletop calculator, so we can do some maths in the truck. Toilet paper <laughs> for our um, dire situations. Yeah, just loads of stuff here. Money? <laughs> yeah, let's leave money on the open. I'm sure that'll go well. Flags, again, we don't want flags. Keys, Pac-Man. Oh, we can have Pac-Man. The Statue of Liberty. Jeez, this is amazing. Who makes this stuff? A retro computer toy. A notepad. A kettle? Oh my god. This is like really, really bizarre. We can have like a Tesco £6.50 kettle in our truck. Oh, that was. Oh, that's amazing. They things are amazing too. They move. Bobblehead. Garfield. Rocket League. Mario Brothers. That's awesome. A dashboard fan. See, they've added way more. We can have a coffee maker. A toy duck, a TARDIS, jeez, trophy, pizza tower, this guy is like so talented, a passport, yeah, let's leave that out in the open, a Renault Range T, oh no, that's not, it's a Magnum, Robot Santa, we we'll definitely have that at Christmas, um, yeah, just loads of stuff, a Christmas tree. Wow. Okay, that's really odd. Um, let's go with... I really like the idea of having... Where was it? Oh my god, what was it again? Yeah, I really like the idea of having like a Nescafe cup. And then I really like the idea of having a coffee maker next to it. Um, coffee maker and then I really like then we can have that, that's cool so we can have a coffee maker with an Nescafe cup with no plug makes sense uh, so we can have different stuff here too I mean, we can have like um, all that, minions hanging we can have wonder bombs otherwise known as air fresheners um, beat what the heck is that a caution sign <laughs> Long vehicle, lol. Warning sign, don't tell me. Don't touch, no smoking. <laughs> Flowers, smell of diesel. A cube? Wow, this guy is so talented. Let's have a Garfield, that looks quite funny. Um, and then let's have... What the heck? Let's 
Let's have a minion. Or minions. One of the two. Um, what else can we have? Uh, we can have ambient lights. Why not? Red. Uh, we can have... Oh yeah, that's outside. I really hate that, how it shows exterior stuff, interior. Really annoying. Skyrim Dragon. Patrick Star. A gift. Perfect. The air freshener smell. That's that's our air freshener. We don't need a wonder bomb. Uh, there's loads of stuff here. I mean, there's like water bottles. There's map in case the sat nav breaks. Backgammon board, a netting basket, like really bizarre stuff. Um, most like everything you can think of is in here. Well, maybe not everything. Those you definitely prove me wrong. Christmas presents. You can even bring a companion along. I mean, it's that weird. <laughs> Ika. Ben Kenobi, C-3PO, I mean he just stares at you the entire time, it's really odd. Uh, Ellis, Juliet, Lord Vader, Jedi Knight, <laughs> Melissa. So there's Melissa with the legs and then Melissa with the tights. Okay. Um, then there's um, Then there's Rex the dog. Wait, why? We can just do it for old time's sake and just put Rex the dog in here. Does anybody remember when I crashed my vehicle on the highway with that dog in there? Ray. Yep, the cat. Yasmin. Elhami. El Sorry, dude, I, I have no idea what your name is. Um, he looks really, really grumpy. And I cannot stand grumpy people, so he is not coming in my truck. And any way possible. Truck info. Um, okay, we spent too long on this, seriously. This is like... Okay, let's go with... Oh, God. I don't want Lord Vader in my truck. I don't want a cat in my truck either. Okay. We'll go with a backpack. I'll be really boring. Um, wait, what? Jeez! A Christmas tree! <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, I remember that. We had R2-D2 as the compass. Acoustic guitar. Cool box. Now that's even more bizarre. Le Paul's guitar. The heck? What is the addiction with guitars? Okay, let's go with snacks. Um, here we have Iwona Black Charg's fake or something. Star Wars. Keep calm and truck on. Power of the road. Rule of the road. Uh, okay, let's go red. Uh, anything else that we need to customize? Are we done? I think that's everything, right? Unless I'm mistaken. I think that's everything. 247,000 euros. Oh my god. Purchase. It looks amazing. Tell me it doesn't look amazing. That was fun. I enjoyed customising that. We are in Okshkina or Ored. Okay. So we'll do a little bit of driving. Ten minutes. We'll just drive. We'll just dog leg it around the city, and we'll see what it's like. Come on, come on, game. Thank you. Right, we get it. Thanks. So this is our truck. Then I feel extremely high up. Small left. It's fine. Right. It's fine. Um, okay, first impressions. Do not like the dash. 
I feel extremely high up, and I would not be that high up in real life. <laughs> um, okay, let's take a drive. I do not like this dash in the slightest. Like, look at how awful it is. I mean, like, I'll, I don't like, like, that digital display of speedo looks like something I find in an 80s watch. So, I don't, why are they going for that in a 2018 truck? God knows. Yeah, I don't like the way this thing moves. It's just really, 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 really clunky. That makes sense to anybody? Probably won't, but... And the gear... Like, seeing the gears, it's really, really small as well. Like, look how small. I need to zoom in to even see that. Like, I just do not like the dash in the slightest. The sat-nav's not too bad. Like, the sat-nav is pretty clear, but it's just... I just do not like the way this thing moves at all. I don't know why. Just personal preference, but... I've seen videos of it and I just do not like it. I honestly have no idea why. And the engine feels very, 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 very click to click as well. Uh, not click to click, that's indicators. The engine feels very, very, very loud as well. Like, I don't like it at all. But in the exterior, it looks not too bad. Uh, this would definitely not be my first choice at all. Like, the indicator. It's not too bad. In most trucks, it's too loud or too quiet. It could be a bit louder. Covering all aspects of the spectrum here. But I will, from now on, if I ever do, like, promo stuff, I'll, I'll probably drive in this truck because I've got it anyway. But, you know, it's just like a little bit of a review, you know. Like, why not review the new trucks that come out? I might do this from now on. It might be a good thing to do. Um... But, in a whole, I'd probably give this maybe a 6 out of 10. Um, the exterior is definitely an 8 out of 10. The interior is probably a 5 out of 10. So, in the whole, it's a 6 or a 7 out of 10, probably. So, yeah. Definitely not my first choice. But, regardless, it's not a bad truck. It's not, it's not terrible. It's better than the Magnum, anyway. I know that much. Um, but, look at how small it is. Like, how am I meant to see the time from over here? Like... Am I meant to have a magnifying glass to see that? Like, the temperature, I'm not bothered about that too much, but I need to see what time of day it is. But I can, because the game won't let me. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know, like... Like, it's just really small seeing all the speed and stuff. Like, the fuel is way too small. The digital display is fine, like, it's really good, but it's just not modern. Like, I don't consider that to be a modern display at all. But I really don't like the way it moves, it's just really, really odd. You know how the Kenworth W900, people that have driven the Kenworth W900, I'll know, I'll only know this feeling, but it feels good the way it moves. This truck just does not. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think the AI just had a bit of a collision there. But yeah, if you've ever noticed this, it's just very, very moving. It's very digital steering in a way as well. It feels very, very, very... If you turn, it just does it straight away. It doesn't feel smooth at all. So yeah, uh, excuse me. Do you mind? Stupid coach drivers. They think they're a menace, honestly. Seriously, menace, yeah. I honestly did not see that guy in front of me. <laughs> I honestly did not see that guy at all. So what we'll do is we'll pull up at the side and, yeah, we'll end. We'll pull up at the Renault dealer. But yeah, um, hopefully I'll do a few videos. I think next Monday I think there's a video of Eurotruck not Monday coming but the Monday after there's a video of Eurotruck, we might drive uh, in Eurotruck or American Truck if you saw the update a few days ago then you'll know that um, we'll be doing either ETS2 or ETS on that day but yeah regardless it's okay, if you like Renault then so be it but I don't like it I still like my Volvos, my MANs, my Scania's, that sort of thing. 
Mercs are not too bad either, but yeah. Um, oh god, how do I turn the engine off? Uh, rip. Oh, I forgot. How do you turn the engine off? Game. <laughs> it is engine off, engine on off, whatever you call it. It's. Engine Britain. No, no, no. Start, stop, engine E. Thanks. There we go. Anyway, that's going to do it for an episode of Your Truck Simulator 2. Today we didn't do much anything. We did it something a little bit different, actually, and something that we don't normally do, customising a truck. But if you want to see more of these customising truck videos and a little bit of driving, maybe I'll do a video where I customise the truck and then I do a journey in that truck another episode. Maybe I'll do that, I don't know. But if you want to see that, um, if you want to see that, then please leave a like and a comment saying that you want to see it. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please that like button. If you're new to all the videos on my channel, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode. See you later.